Hey guys, it's Truman from Forerunner Lifestyle. Today we're going to be installing the Rego Center Console Molly Storage Panel. We're going to be doing the side panels as well as the bridge. If you want either or both, just go click the link in the description below. They're, they're for sale right now. So let's get into the install. Okay, so here's everything that's going to come with the kit. It's fairly simple. It just has side specific side panels. Um, the way you're going to be able to tell is on the inside is going to be these protruding brackets right here. There's going to be two of them. That's going to go on the inside and then these are at the front. And so this is side specific. And what else comes with the kit is all the hardware that you're going to need. And then if you do order the bridge, it's going to come with individual bridge hardware as well. And that's going to look like this. It just comes with the bridge and then all the hardware you need. Okay, so the tools that we're gonna use for this install are fairly simple. We're just gonna need a quarter inch drill bit, a Phillips head screwdriver, an 11 and 10 millimeter wrench, and then a four millimeter Allen key. Okay, so the first step for the install, we're gonna to wanna to mark where we're gonna be drilling. We wanna measure twice and then drill once just to be safe. And so we're gonna go inside, we're gonna start on the driver's side. We're gonna hold it up flush and then we're gonna mark the dots and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and hold it up to this lower trim piece right here. This is what it's going to be sitting against. We're going to give you an up close of what you want to line flush so everything fits well. So we're going to bring you in and show you what lines we need to match up. Okay, so this is the line that we want to flush up this side panel with. It's going to be where this glossy piece and this textured piece meet. It's going to be right at this line. And then up front is, this is where we're going to line this one up at. Is right here with this front dash piece right here. Gonna make sure everything's flush up here as well. I'll get you up close to that too. Okay, now that everything's lined up, we're just gonna go ahead and sharpie in this drill hole right here, just so we know where to drill. And we're gonna do this with the front one as well as the one towards the back. Okay, now that we got those holes marked, we can jump over to the other side and do the same thing. Okay, we're gonna go and mark the same four holes on the other side. Okay, so the next step is removing the center console. This is gonna gain access to the inside so we can bolt everything down. It's fairly straightforward. You just have to unscrew this transfer case knob right here. And then everything should unclip when you just yank on it. You wanna be pretty careful since there's gonna be wires and stuff going on behind it. So you're just gonna pull up and then we're gonna remove everything. Okay, once that we have all the tabs pulled up on this center console, there's gonna be one wiring harness behind here. It's just gonna be powering your heated seats and then your back window. And so we're just gonna unclip that and pull it all the way out. And then it should come out the rest of the way. Okay, so now that we got the center console removed, that gains access to the back bolts that we're gonna to have to be bolting on. Now we have to remove this gloss piece right here that is gonna show us access to the front bolts. And so we're just gonna pull the same way we did the center console, and then it'll gain the access to the front bolts. Okay, now we just pull on this piece right here and it should come undone. Okay, so we've removed a total of three pieces. It's this center console piece right here, and then two side pieces that have the holes for the climate control. So it's these two pieces in the center console. Okay, now everything's out of the way, it's time to drill. We're gonna go ahead and get our quarter drill bit, and we're gonna come up and drill the holes that we marked previously, 
And then we're gonna do the passenger side first, and then the driver's side is gonna be slightly different, and we'll show you that after. Front ones is fairly simple. You just go ahead and drill. And then for these back ones, I just pulled the seat all the way back and it'll be easier to access them. Okay, so for the driver's side, it's the same thing up front, but these back two holes right here, just behind them, is an AC duct. So we wanna be super careful when drilling in there, we don't wanna mess up our AC. And so we're gonna to try to pull the panel away from the AC unit so we can actually drill full hole. But we'll show you how do we do it. Okay, and for the back piece, you wanna be super careful. I've just got my finger underneath this panel to pull it away from the duct so we're still get, able to get the drill bit in there. Okay, so now we just have to remove two bolts and four screws. And so the two bolts are located right here and right here. And then the four screws are right here and right here. And on the other side right here and right here. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and remove these two front screws right here. Okay, so now it's time to get these back screws right here. They're possible to get with the screwdriver, but very difficult just because of this panel piece right here. So I just went ahead and threw my Phillips head on a wrench and then I'm able to easier get back here and unbolt it. Okay, now that we got all those bolts and screws removed, we're just gonna pull these off of their tabs and they're gonna pull away like this. And then there's gonna be this trim piece right here that we can just remove as well so it doesn't get lost. Okay, so this will be loose, but it'll still be attached to this trim piece right here. They're just held on by tabs. So you can go ahead and pull these out. And then this will come loose. So what's this? Okay, now it's time to throw your side panel on. We're gonna start with passenger side. You're just gonna go ahead and grab it. We'll start with one hole. You just need one bolt, one nut, and two washers. Those are all provided with the kit. We'll show you how to throw the first one on. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get our bolt and slide a washer on. That's gonna protect the front side. And then we're gonna shoot it through the hole, like we'll show you, and then throw a washer on the back, and then the back bolt. So we'll go ahead and show you that right now. Okay, we'll take the bolt and put it through the hole. Okay, so with that washer on, now you can just put it through the hole and through the center console. And then on the back side, you put the washer and then the nuts, and then tighten it down, you show the 11 millimeter wrench on the back and the four millimeter Allen on the front and tighten it down. Okay, now that we've got the first one done, we have seven more for a total of eight. So we're gonna do that all the way around. Okay, so I went ahead and tightened down all eight bolts with this 11 mil and the four mil Allen wrench. So now we're gonna go ahead and reinstall all the trim pieces, the center console, and put everything back together, and then we can throw on the bridge. Okay, just gonna go ahead and throw on the center trim piece right here that we took out initially. 
Okay, now we're gonna throw on these four screws and these two bolts right here, and I'll show you where they go. Okay. Okay, so those back bolts were kind of hard to get on just because of the way that the Toyota dashboard sits. So the way I did it is I just threw a quarter inch socket on this little socket and then threw this screwdriver bit in there. So that made it a little easier. Of course it can be done, but it is much harder, especially with the Rego side panel in the way after. Okay, so we took this piece out when we were trying to get to the side panels. This is down in the foot well. The way to put it back in is you just see this tab right here it's going to be slipping into a hole as we'll show you and then we're going to use these back clips to clip them back into the side panels okay now that that footwell trim is back in then we can throw on the climate control trim this went around the climate control rings right here and we'll show you. Okay, now we can go ahead and screw back on the transfer case knob. Okay, so now that we've got the side panels on, if you just got the side panels, this would be finished right here. We'll go ahead and give you a look at what it looks like with just the side panels, and then we'll show you how to install the bridge. And it's fairly simple, but we'll show you how that looks too. Okay, so here's the bridge right here. In the hardware kit, there's gonna be two different types of bolts. This one with the rounded top is what's gonna be actually bolting the side of this into the side panels. And this is side specific. And so the side with the holes facing front is actually gonna be pointing away from you. And so it's gonna be going on just like this. And then you can put all your stuff on top. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and throw a provided washer on this rounded top bolt right here. And then this is just gonna tap straight into the side panel. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the same on the other side. I'm gonna get in tight almost all the way down but not all the way because then we're going to adjust the bridge make sure it's level where you want it to be and then we'll tighten everything down okay so we got those bolts most of the way tightened down now we're going to adjust everything make sure we like it how it is and then we'll tighten everything down Okay, now that everything's put together, I mean, wow. This thing is really sturdy, especially for only four bolts. I would totally trust putting my iPad on this and all of my other out overlanding accessories. This thing is super sturdy and you'd be surprised. Okay, so just for reference, we grabbed this soda can. You can still easily use this cup holder that's underneath here. This is fully in park and we still have at least four inches of clearance right here. Use my transfer case knob right here. It's very easy to access stuff. So it's not really getting in the way of anything, which is super nice the way Rego built this, but it's still super sturdy and we definitely recommend these for all your builds.
Okay guys, so that was the install. It wasn't too hard. If you want one of those, you can go either get the side panel or the bridge in the link in the description below. Uh, thanks for watching. And if you wanna see more install videos like this, just go like and subscribe.